the, yeah, the slap the, heard around the world. Rock, or Gervais? Yeah. Oh, oh no no no, Gervais did not get slapped. Yeah, but but you talking about Chris? Rock. Yeah, Chris Chris Rock. I nah, that was that was a big fail on on Will Smith's end, and yeah. Will Smith uh, has been living, uh, I would say, a twenty plus thirty plus year lie of of trying to maintain his image in a certain way. I mean, even when he joined social media, I don't know if you noticed, but as soon as he, he signed up to YouTube. Back in I think 2018, mm. all of his videos are being like carefully crafted, curated, and curated yeah. him skydiving out of a plane. For me, the the daily confrontation um, with with fear has become a real practice for me since about three three years ago. Um, I went uh, I went skydiving in Dubai, right? And skydiving skydiving is a really interesting confront with fear, right? <laughs> so. So I got I got to stand up. I'm sorry, I got to stand up. I got to stand up. All right. So so all your friends, what happens? You Hold go out. How you? Oh, sorry. Oh, I dropped my thing. Yeah. So what happens is you go, yeah, we'll go skydiving tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. And you go, yeah. And everybody goes, yeah. Right. And, and, and he's he's and everything's being high edited, and people are just looking at this like we know this <coughs> is some high production value. You, you're being a YouTuber now, yeah. but it's like you're trying to make your life look perfect. Perfect. You know, Steph Perel is coming to the table. She's going to be at the red table. Would you say she has been instrumental in you and not redefining our relationship? I would say don't just start filming me without asking me. Oh, my goodness. If you could film me. Sam, come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. Don't. No, nah, no, nah, she, yeah, because she, don't just. Would you say that she helped us heal the hurts that we caused between one another? My social media presence is my bread and butter, okay? So you can't just use me for social media and not, you know, don't just start rolling. I'm standing in my house. Don't just start rolling. Don't Please start. watch a stare at the red table because she's helped us a lot. Can't you tell? And, and he'd be like, I uh, didn't skydive before, but... When I finally did it, and I'm just like, can't you just say he, you he skydived? He, cool. he turns everything into a uh, meta, um, uh, like a, like a, life a, meta, a of metaphorical some sort. example of something deep and meaningful. Fear is not real. I'm still dealing with foolishness. Don't. The only place that fear can exist is in our thoughts of the future. It is a product of our imagination causing us to fear things that do not at present and may not ever exist. Everything he does is something deep and meaningful. You can't take a walk down the road without being like, this yeah. walk that I took, you it know, was amazing. The spirit guide <laughs> told me when I saw when the moon and the sun was rising. And he does have some validity to some of the things he says. Some of these things that he gives are, are like, it's good mantras, good quotes, good things yeah. to live by. But the thing is, is when you're living your life in a very uh, curated way, you're not being genuine yourself. Yeah. So it kind of... It defeats the whole thing. It defeats the whole purpose. And yeah. so this is the first time the whole globe saw him crack in real time. Yeah. Because think... he presents himself as the cookie cutter, yeah. Yeah. perfect American well, well, he, American boy, he, African American boy. He's just this... I smile all the time, and, and he's always happy. I, I, I will joke and crack crack jokes with you, and I won't say nigga. You know, I will just be perfect. Wait, wait, <laughs> Sorry, <guy>. guys. <laughs>but he just won't he won't be this real like you know show who he is he just needs to be on performance mode 24 7. i thought there's a legion of women who said i'm glad for will fighting for his woman yeah because they still want to believe that that sham of a fucking marriage is real they're both bisexual they do weird things in their house and young men have left their house fucking screaming to get away from them in their mentorship meek mills <laughs> Bashir Gray, listen to me, listen to me, he needs my help, <laughs> like, like, are you fucking kidding me? I wanted to help him, he was so sick, and he needed my help, and you just figured you was gonna ride his dick until he got better, huh? How the fuck you gonna play in a movie called Emancipation and you can't emancipate yourself? Ooh. I ain't supporting shit he fucking though. He's a bad representation for black men. He is literally the epitome of a ballless man. 
I'm sick and tired of people making our black men look weak. I'm sick and tired of that shit because I don't know no nigga that would put it with the shit that that bitch done put him through. Everything's PR. 100%. And Every, everyone who's doing that right now, their PR is cracking. Even The Rock. The Rock tries to make himself look perfect in every, every interview he's done. He's very bravacious. He's got a lot of bravado. But yeah, it was the first time the whole globe saw Will Smith crack in real time. And I'll, I'll never forget what this lady said. And she was like, what was the biggest disappointment of the year? She said, Will Smith. <laughs> she was just like, I lost all the respect for him. She, I thought he was a masculine man. And when I saw him lose his emotional intelligence and his cool, his stoicism, he lost his cool. He literally lost his cool, got up stage and slapped a man. You know? So, you know, there, there's more to that story, obviously, if you look into uh, their marriage, which that's a whole nother topic. That's a whole nother subject. They've got skeletons in their closet with Will and Jada that uh, we won't quite touch on. But I ignore the media, whatever you, whatever swings your way. <laughs> I uh, did a nice little skit on Will Smith <coughs> that's in the uh, link in the bio or it'll pop up right here above you guys. So, so yeah, so um, that was a slap around the world. And since then, he's been on an apology tour, essentially. Oh, uh, yeah. He tried to apologize. That was awkward. Oh, uh, that was super awkward, that, that apology. that That's part of the yeah, the skit. Enjoy that, guys. Yeah. Yeah. For, for, yeah, for me, in a, and to round that up, I, I he used to be one of my favorites uh, as a kid. Yeah. Seen that slap and slapping Chris Rock. And you got to remember, he's a comedian. That's his job. And yeah. hitting someone for doing their job is, to me, uh, super but, yeah. mature, super... Uh, selfish, yeah. and that's there, kind but, of but there, what it was no, for me. Yeah, there's no mystery behind that, though, to be honest. Like, when you really think about it, everyone saw it for what it was. He was laughing when Chris Rock cracked the joke. Oh, 100%. He was laughing until he looked at his wife. Fuck Will Smith! No, no, wait, 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 he wait, can wait, kiss wait, my wait, 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 wait. He should have never slapped Chris. Wait, wait, I'm not wait, wait, watching wait. the movie. Damn it, damn it. It's not happening. You don't understand, do you understand why he slapped Chris? Did you see in that moment from... Probably what he was dealing with. What was he dealing with? Shit, I don't know. What the fuck was he dealing with? Something made him slap his no, brother, No, something man. didn't make him snap anything. He laughed at that badass joke that Chris <laughs> said like every fucking body else. And then Jada looked at him and it was like the Manchurian candidate. <laughs> the Manchurian. Not the Manchurian. Not the Manchurian, god damn it. No! Uh, <laughs> That's what the fuck happened. Yeah, it, it was all caught on camera. He went from laughing, looks at his wife, and then his mood changed all yeah. of a sudden. Men, don't get cucked. Get cucked. Just don't get cucked. <laughs> don't be in a situation where you're emasculated and you've got a crazy lady or some, she's, you know, wherever she's from, she's a Virgo or some crazy nut. Have you running in your emotions. Men plus emotions equal jail. Hey guys, if you want to watch more clips, click here. And if you want to watch the full podcast, click right here.